the football. That time he did not make a good decision. You gotta throw it sometimes deep down the middle. The safeties are not there, they're outside. He did not take advantage of that coverage that time. He rips it right out of the wide receiver's hands. Gotta give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. Cold quit back to punt. And the punt is kicked out of bounds. The Chiefs have failed to come away with points on three consecutive drives. Their offense takes the field again now. What's caused them to go silent here, partner? Listen, let's give all the credit to the defense. They are being very creative on the defensive side. The coach is calling the right plays, and they are just taking it to the offense right now. The more aggressive team is winning, and that's the defense. Jamal Charles has the catch. Charles is met at the 30. The pass play picks up only two. So now it's second down and eight following the completion. Jamal Charles carries the football. And pick up about four. Third down on the way. The Chiefs will line up the first down marker right at the 39-yard line. The Chiefs have it at the 34. And they'll run the football with Charles. The offense is going to stay on the field now for this fourth and seventh. The Broncos' defense now is going to go nickel. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. The Chiefs go for it on fourth down, and they do not get it done. Now it's up to their defense to bail them out. The Broncos heading back out there on offense, hoping to improve on their last possession, which ended rather quickly with a punt. Yeah, I think what they got to do, they got to come out and be a little more creative, get the defense off guard, make them think over there. That was too generic what they did on the offensive side. If you want to score, show some ingenuity. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. First down and 10. Complete to Cody Latimer. The Broncos were trying to go down the field that time with the throw, but nobody's open. They throw it short. Doesn't fool the defense, and they get very few yards. Second down and seven. And it's in the hands of Emmanuel Sanders. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? Manning's completion percentage, 80% on the day. defense is ready to plug up the middle here on the goal line. Anderson's going to secure the handoff. When you get third and goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. This will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. Third and goal to pass it. Touchdown. Well, when you get close to the goal line, you always have to look out for the tight end because anytime there's a, just a little bit of deception, that deception is enough for the tight end to get that area where he can get open. That time he does it, touchdown. The Chiefs will now be in an even deeper hole here as they get ready to return the kick. Scores 21-0. to zero. 
And a touchback here. We'll bring the ball out to the 20. The Broncos defense, Phil, has been truly dominant here today. Sometimes when you see a game like this, you go, oh, it might be boring. But this defense has been so dominating and so active in what they're trying to do. It's been fun to watch. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. We return out of the two-minute warning. Fourth quarter action. Second down at 10. And Smith just throws this pass incomplete. Quarterbacks love to see a receiver uh, have this type of play. Even though he doesn't make the catch, the effort is outstanding, and he's given everything he has to make that catch. Alex Smith's going to take it from the shotgun. Thomas is there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. That's another reception. Give him two. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. Alex Smith looking long. Complete. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Smith lining up in the pistol. And it's knocked down. Third down following the incompletion. The Broncos will come out in the dime. The Chiefs come out in a jumbo set. And they'll give it to Jamal Charles. Fourth down and 10, and they're going to go for it. Quarters formation here for the defense. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. The Chiefs will take the snap from the 40. Takes it from the eye. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. First and ten. Going deep. And it's incomplete. Well, sometimes when you have a talented receiver, you just got to put up a place like that. He might drop a few, but when he does catch it, it can make a big play. Alex Smith from the gun. And a flag is down. The defense accepts the penalty. Third down after the penalty. Smith now on the move. Has his target. Mark him down for another reception. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. This play set up by the long gainer. Smith's now going to leave the pocket and tuck it under. Mounting a serious drive. The Broncos defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Throws the pass. Could have been intercepted. Well, I think it's important for the defense anytime it's a third and long situation for the offense to know where those first down markers are, give a little ground, and make sure you're able to come up and make the tackle short of the first down marker. Smith's taking off. It's wide open. That's a gain of 10. Ah, oh, the coach is going, hey, nice job, son, nice job. Anytime the quarterback takes off on a pass play and picks up a first down, it makes the coaches feel really good. Smith's got it in the gun. Throw it to the outside, and they've got the hookup. The Chiefs offensive coordinator does a good job that time calling the pass down here in the red zone. Caught the defense off guard. They got the completion for a good game. Smith with the handoff. Charles out to the right. The Chiefs are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. 
This long drive continues. The Broncos set at the line. Dime package. Smith's back in shotgun formation. And it's batted down. Gets tight down here in the red zone. So if you're a defender, read the quarterback. You make a quick break on the football. Hey, you get in a position like this, and you can knock it down. And this run goes backwards and will end up as a loss of five. The Broncos' offense takes the field, and they're looking to kneel this game out. How great a feeling was it to take the field, Phil, knowing you had just to take a knee, and then you could celebrate? Ah, oh, it's the best. You get in a huddle. You can smile at each other. But the one thing you do talk about, Jim, make sure you protect the quarterback and don't let somebody come in and get a cheap hit on him before he can kneel down and end this game. Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports. Jim Nance saying so long for now.